Hello everyone and welcome to another Minecraft Redstone tutorial. So we're chilling in the Redstone testing world. Once again, we've been here for a while. Um, been fixing up the sugarcane farm here. Took a look at the uh, pumpkin and melon farm over there. In the last episode, we built this circuit here for an auto item dispenser. And just been cruising around looking at different builds and fixing them. And of course, we don't want to fix anything we're only going to use one time. I came across this little item sorter right here, curious if it worked, so I filtered some items through it, and it does. Yeah, and we got the auto item dispenser here, this circuit we built last time, uh, for overflow protection. So this is two modules here. I want to show you guys a couple of modules side by side. We'll build one, then we'll build a couple of more, and we'll filter some items through, and we'll explain how everything works. So to build one module you're going to need three pieces of redstone one redstone repeater one comparator one torch hoppers depending on how big you want to make it chest the same thing some items and an item that's not going to be in the system i recommend putting uh named items in your system so you stack up some chests this can be as tall as you want it to be we're just going to go three high for this demonstration we need hoppers facing into all those chests, and then we are going to need some building blocks. Forgot to grab something. <laughs> we'll go with the old trusty iron. We need a hopper. You want the hoppers pointing in, in a direction, not straight down in a system. <coughs> Excuse me. We'll place the block up like so. And this hopper here is going to be pointing into where the comparator is going to go. And this hopper here is our filter hopper. So we want a comparator facing out like so. We will build this out two more blocks. That's where two pieces of redstone dust will go. We'll come underneath here, place a block down here, one to the left, one on the bottom, one on the right, and delete the middle block like so. And that is it. We place one more redstone dust here, a repeater here, and then a torch right here. And that is the module built. So now we need to add the items into this hopper here. And I recommend doing named items so that your system never breaks. You can put in stone or cobblestone, it doesn't matter. But these four slots need to be full of something that you're not going to be sorting. So I'm going to build a couple more modules and talk a little bit. Um, as far as the redstone goes with the setup, even with that hopper having 64 items in it and the four slot filled, you will never get a redstone signal strength of more than my controller. Come on, please. <laughs> You'll never get a signal strength longer than three. So what that effectively does is you need a signal strength of four to start interacting with the modules next to one another. So that's why this thing will never uh, break. Because the redstone won't mess with one another. <laughs> so let's place down some more comparators. What I'm saying here is this redstone here, how it all connects, this back redstone will never be affected because it won't have the, the signal strength it needs. Don't forget the torches. <laughs> It'll make uh, for an interesting uh, day if you do. So one more repeater, one more block, one more torch. And there we go, there's three modules. Oh, one more dust. <coughs> so now we'll place the rest of our filters in here. And we got some pumpkins and melons on us with the sugar cane, and we will sort that through. So now all your filters are set. Um, we want to make a hopper chain above this. And this is going to be your input line of your sorting system. So you can have that go off in any direction, <clears throat> however you want. And then this hopper here would be the input hopper. So you could feed it with an item elevator like I did over there, coming into this hopper, and then that'll sort through all your items. And this is for overflow protection too, so you can use the last circuit I built and protect yourself from this thing backing up. Now you only actually need one item in this hopper to get things going but eventually it will fill up with 41 items. Now, people will say that's all you need, but actually in this hopper here, there's going to be one more item that gets stuck. 
So you will essentially lose 42 items of whatever you're sorting out. Um, it's no big deal, but <clears throat> if you're just getting this thing going and you need some of those items, well, you know they're going to be stuck in there. So um, you do, like I said, you only need one item to go into the hopper. As your farm starts to fill up, it will sort itself out. So we'll place the single items here. And then we will take the excess 22 items and we'll just throw them in the chest here and we'll wait a little bit and check them down here. Um, stay tuned to the next redstone tutorial. I will be working with non-stackable items. You can see the torch changing there for items being sorted. Uh, we're going to work with non-stackable items and we are going to play around with items that stack to 16 as well. So 22 items, 22 items, and we should have 22 here. Perfect. Sorting system working. Everything works great. You can always take the end of the line, like I said, and bring this into a dispenser. This way uh, your hoppers don't get filled up and there's not items just sitting everywhere making a big old mess. So now what I want to do is simulate a uh, full chest here of items. And we'll place some more in and I'll show you guys that it won't filter over into the pumpkin and melon side of things. Um, this is completely, uh, you can make it as big as you want. I've got three modules here. I think I've gone a total of 30 chests side by side with this. It doesn't end. You can, you can put as much as you want, so... <clears throat> there we go. There's a full chest. Now we are going to need to, uh, we can start sorting in items, but all these hoppers are going to back up too. So I need to, I need to fill these up as well. Otherwise we'll be not emulating what I want to show you. I want to show you guys like a full clogged system. Um, I have a sorting system in a very old world of mine that does slime balls and pumpkins and melons and stuff like that. And you need overflow protection with a pumpkin and melon farm because obviously when the melons break, you get, you know, one to seven of those where you only get one pumpkin. So it becomes a mess. And let's see. Throw all this in here. Actually, I need to fill this hopper up. Oops. <laughs> That's all right. We'll, we'll fill this up real quick and then we'll throw some more items in there and show you that how it all works so uh, that should be plenty okay so we'll throw let's just throw the 23 items in there and if we're looking around all these are full there's nothing going in here with the pumpkins no torches are lit that one is unlit because it's completely full here but with 64 items in the four filters it only emits a redstone signal strength of three. What is going on here? Oh, I needed 23 items was exactly what I needed to fill up the 41 items that were in the chest. So we'll throw 16 more in. <laughs> and those 16 should end up here. There we go. There we go. So it does work, but you will need to destroy those items or it will clog the system up. And you can no longer sort in you know pumpkins and stuff like that so um, you can put stone cobblestone in there I just recommend naming the items it's not very hard it makes things easy <coughs> and the minute you start pulling out items to use them this will start um, unfilling and everything will be all good now, there it is just a simple little item sorter um, you can always connect it to this system here with some water and all that and make it a little more server friendly but anyway that's going to do it for me guys on this episode i hope you enjoyed hope this helps you guys out in your bases like comment subscribe and we will see you on the next one <laughs>